guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is part one of two doing these blood rose jelly nails. So working on the lovely Lottie which is my flexi hand which I got from Glitter Planet and I've already applied my tips. Now I applied these halfway down the nail so that I didn't have to cut and shape them. Uh, now obviously this I can do because it's practice hand if you are doing this on an actual person which <laughs> nobody is at the moment um, don't do that apply your tips how you would normally cut and shape them I was just trying to save a bit of time and now I'm going in with my clear candy base uh, ready for the design as I always do so I'm just going to finish this off and uh, then we'll get into it so using my size 10 back to basics brush from Team Gorgeous, or no, from Rachel Wilder as it's now called. And I just want to show you, this is how I set up when I'm working. So I've got a big pot of clear, I've got my Mender Pump with my monomer in. Uh, I'm using Honeycomb and Whipped Cream from Rachel Wilder's in this set. And I've got all my other bits in that little pot at the back. So starting off on the ring finger and I'm doing a reverse smile line nail bed using honeycomb. Absolutely love honeycomb, it's my all time favourite. It does get overlooked sometimes where I use newer ones or different ones but it is still my favourite and every time I use it I remember how much I love it. Um, so I'm just doing my nail bed here, just how I always do or even my reverse smile line. So place my bead pretty much sort of at the natural free edge, uh, blend it back then pull the front of the bead into that smile line shape, uh, making sure I've got a nice wall that I can butt the next colour up to. I used an orange stick just to get away a little bit of acrylic that had gone a bit too far and now I'm just patting and pulling, getting that shape how I want it. I want quite a nice deep smile line. I'm not worrying about apex or strength or anything like that because I'm going to cap it in clear. And so I'm just finishing off making sure that uh, wall right around the smile line is even and then I have just gone in with another little wet bead just to blend it all in a little bit more, tidy up around the sides and da 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 da, I'll leave that to set slightly before capping. On the middle finger I'm going to be using the Blood Rose decal from Queen of Decals. Now the one I've got does require a white base but you can now get these where they don't need a white base. So I'm just going in with whipped cream, painting it all over the nail, near enough, um, for my decal base. I'm gonna do something else, or will be revealed very shortly. Uh, back to my nail bed, smile line, thingamajig, and I'm going in with clear candy, and I'm just gonna cap it. This is where I create my apex, uh, all that jazz tidying up that smile line as always and then once I'm happy we shall move on. The index finger is going to be a full jelly polish nail um, but I'm just going in with a little bit of honeycomb at the nail bed and over sort of the natural free edge just to try and disguise it a bit. It didn't really work but you know it was worth a try. Um, just because I didn't want that harsh line, but um, yeah. You don't need to do this, you could just do a full clear nail um, and then use the polish, but I just, you know me, I like to make things more difficult for myself, more work. Um, but it did give it a bit more of a blend. Now, back to my decal nail, and I'm using Mardi Bum and one of my original Betty brushes, and I'm just going to sort of outline the white with the black around the cuticle and just down the side walls to the free edge. Uh, I'm not going to do the free edge, just the three sides. And this is because that decal that I've got, even the biggest size, isn't a perfect fit for the nail. And I didn't want to faff around having to stretch it because you run the risk of um, tearing and splitting it and I didn't want a white border. So I thought if I go round the edge with some black, 
I can hide any risk of a white border. It doesn't matter if it hides a little bit of the rose because it's only the very edge of it. And then it just gives a full black background to my blood rose. So I'm just painting on my um, what, what Mardi Balm, just little beads uh, and just keeping it to the very edge. This is why I used a, one of my smaller brushes cleaning it off from the white in the middle and just adding it until I was happy with that frame uh, and I'm not sure if I'm finished yet um, we, I seem to have come to a pausing standstill here uh, but yeah oh no adding a bit more so yeah just all the way around and that way there won't be any white showing behind my decal uh, so I'm going to finish doing that and uh, then I'll be back with you all well, that didn't take very long. So I've got here, um, I think it's Florence. Uh, this is from the Ink London Editions range. It's a really nice uh, black holographic glitter. I thought it would just add a little bit of sparkliness. Uh, so on the ring finger, nope, this is the pinky, I'm just gonna do a glitter fade. Uh, so starting at the cuticle and I'm just gonna fade it down over the natural free edge and leave a slightly clear tip. On the middle finger, I'm using my clear acrylic. This is my glue, so just a very wet layer of this. Uh, and then I'm going to apply my decal. So this has been sat on a wet cotton pad. I'm going to slide it off. You'll find if you do it this way, you don't need to blot off the excess. And now I'm just going to pat it on the middle of the nail. And as you can see, no white borders. <laughs> and that is why I faffed around with the black. Uh, but it was definitely worth it to finish off this set. So for my smile line I'm using number two which I think is called Raspberry Jam from Jelly Nails. Um, this is a company I found on Instagram and they were selling on Etsy. These were my jelly polishes that I use and I absolutely love them. They're great to work with. Um, so I'll try and find the link and pop that below. And I'm just painting this on the tip of that um, reverse smile line. I'm going to cure for 30 seconds and then I'm going to apply a second coat right around that wall. Don't worry if you go over top because it'll all get filed off at the end and then I'm going to cure it again. Uh, I decided to use a little brush for this and not straight from the bottle just to have a little bit more accuracy. So once I'm happy with that second coat I'm going to cure it again for 30 seconds and now I'm just going to apply a little bit of glitter around the smile line and then I'm just going to fade it slightly down um, the tip, not right to the very end because I want that red to show. And once I'm happy with that nail I'm going to cap all of these in clear acrylic. Uh, this is where I'll build all my strength, my structure, put my apex in the right place. Uh, on this nail I will just cap the tip because I've already done the apex. Uh, so once I've done all of that, um, I'm going to be back with you.
Right, let's talk thumbs. Now I don't normally do thumbs in the videos because I have to faff around with my angles, but I have recently got a few questions about what I do on thumbs. So I thought I would put it in in this video. So I'm just gonna start off and do my thin clear base and then we will get into what I'm gonna do on the thumb. So I normally have the thumb matching with either the little finger or the ring finger. So I pick sort of accent nails and then the rest of the nail design. And I match the thumb into one of those because it doesn't get seen a lot in pictures and things, but I do want it to be pretty and to match the set. So in this set, I've decided to match the thumb to my pinky and I'm going to do that glitter fade. Some designs I will match it to the ring finger. I normally do either the thumb and the ring finger matching and then the other three or the thumb and the pinky and sometimes the index. It, it just sort of depends but I always match it with one of those other nails. So that is what I've done on the thumb here. So that's all that glitter uh, applied and then I'm going to cap this in clear acrylic and off camera I'm going to file all of the nails into shape and then that is the end of part one. So join me for part two and see how we bling these nails up. Bye! Mwah.